Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I have a very special listing to show you. This is a 2004 Marquis 59. It's powered by MTU 60 series diesels with 825 horsepower each. This boat has been captain maintained and captain driven since day one. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, let's go ahead and get started. As you look down the side of the boat, you can see it's shiny, lots of nice luster, uh, rub rails, stanchions, all the rails, they're all in good shape. Windless anchor with controls at the bow. Sun pad is in good condition. Starboard side again, nice luster, good condition. All your windows are good inside and out. We've got a tender with a Honda engine. Um, I didn't check the horsepower, but it looks like a 40 or a 50. One thing to mention right here was really one of the only blemishes I could find on the boat. Um, easy fix, but something to mention. We have the hydraulic high-low swim platform. We have a removable bait tank here on the transom. Great walkways forward. We have some boarding doors here. It's a great boat to cruise in. Great boat to use as a condo. Great boat to go to Puerto Vallarta. Just a really great boat for all around Southern California use. Okay, as we step into the salon of the boat, we have really nice sofas across from each other. Uh, the ones on port side, these are recliners, so the footrest will come up. Great views out the windows. All the woodwork appears to be in like new condition. TV is brand new. We had to pull the stickers off of it when we got here before shooting this video. That's a brand new Samsung. We have our DC panel here, AC panel across the way, wet bar storage, brand new Yamaha sound system um, hooked up to Bose speakers with surround sound. Galley, again, spotless. And I mean, look at this, there's just no corrosion. I mean, every boat I've ever been on seems to have some corrosion in the bottom of the sink. So truly captain maintained. Wait till you see the engine room. Again, the cabinetry, all the hardware, everything, it's just in good shape. Here's our thruster control, digital throttles, trim tab control, VHF, GPS radar, autopilot, engine readouts, switch panel ignitions, fuel tank gauges. Have some more storage here. Okay, let's head on down. I really like this little detail that lights up here in the floor. Now it seems like every one of these that I've ever been on has some type of like mermaid statue here that kind of dates the boat. I'm glad that this one's been left unmolested and it's just, you know, as it was from the factory. We have a separate washer and dryer unit, so they're actually useful when they're combined. They don't usually work very well, but you have the uh, combo unit here. All right, here's our master stateroom. We have uh, double portholes on either side. I went ahead and um, rolled down the shades because uh, the camera didn't really like, didn't like the, the extra light. But I've checked the hatches and um, all of them are in good condition and not leaking or rusted. Lots of great storage. Here we have a hanging locker. And we have another hanging locker here across the way. The boat does have satellite television. All the carpets, great shape. 
Here's our master head, full bathtub and shower. Again, lots of great storage and everything, again, surprisingly in perfect shape. I mean, even the mirrors aren't blistering around the edges. Really cool. For 2004, at this price, I don't know of a better boat that you could buy right now. Here's our third stateroom. Again, let's take a look at these carpets where we have some nice light. You can see they're extremely clean. Here's your day head, which also services the VIP head, or the VIP stateroom. Separate shower there. Again, all the hardware, everything, the mirrors, it's all in perfect condition. So here in our V-berth or VIP, great headroom, and there's great headroom throughout the boat. We have hanging lockers to either side, portholes that open to either side, a port hatch and a flip down television. Lots of great storage here underneath the bed. And this is what I was saying, every hatch in the boat, I went around and checked them. I know that, yeah, there, that, that should show up. Um, but if you can see that, it seems like most boats of this vintage have some type of staining underneath these windows throughout the boat. And here, you know, again, nothing. No scratches on the countertops. All in all, just a really great vessel. Okay, let's go ahead and go up to the flybridge. All right. Now, one thing to mention, they're recovering the helm chair. So it's not on the boat right now. We have a wet bar area here. Ice maker below. Storage. Barbecue. I'm not going to lift the lid because I'm one-handed. It's a little tricky, but I checked it. It's in good shape. It's not all dirty. This fridge looks like it's brand new. seating area. The upholstery here, some of this might be able to be cleaned out. It's still supple. I would try some Z cleaner on this and if that didn't work I'd probably dye it because it's still serviceable other than a couple little areas. Isinglass appears to be as new. All of it looks good. New Clarion head unit. Raymarine electronics dual screens up here. You have a rear view camera, here's your engine controls and your thruster controls. So this seat will be back in next week. Carpet, I'm going to give the carpet throughout the boat on the exterior about a 6.5 out of 10, mainly because you can see some wear in these areas. Um, certain cushions have been redone, like this one, uh, kind of makes this one, which is still pretty serviceable, not look as good. But this is an easy thing. I mean, if this is all you have to do on this boat is soft goods, I say that that's pretty good. Okay, here's our tender. Again, looks in great shape. The upholstery looks in great shape. The tube looks in great shape. All the speakers appear to have been updated. All right, let's go ahead and head down into our engine room. Okay, here in our engine room we have two MTU Series 60 engines and I mentioned before that this boat has been captain maintained and captain driven since day one. So let's see what that looks like. A lot of people claim this, that their boats have been captain maintained, but this is what it actually looks like. It's very rare to see a boat like this in California that has truly been captain maintained uh, on a weekly basis. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I really couldn't find much of any corrosion other than, you know, like a little greening right here. It's just perfect. I mean, even the fuel tanks, if you look at the tops of them, the hoses, the fittings, the tanks themselves, there's no corrosion. You look at the chrome here on the motors, engine mounts. I like how they've labeled everything. Just beautifully maintained. 
water pumps. You know, usually you'll see some type of leaking here, rust, or it's sprayed over on the uh, motor mounts. And there's just nothing there. It's just perfect. Turbos haven't been heated up. This thing has not been really run that hard at all. Diapers underneath the engines are clean. Really amazing. I don't see boats like this very often of this vintage. We got 601 hours on the mains. Here's our AC chillers. Again, this is a spot where corrosion really likes to get, get in there, you know, because they're always getting uh, cold and hot and condensating. Here's your oil chain system. Here's all your battery chargers and battery switches and breakers. Here's your inverter here. Exhaust systems, again, great shape. No leaks below them. No leaks coming out of the seals. Really impressive. Here's your controls for your water maker. Here's the actual water maker itself. Here's your generator with 987 hours on it. Here's your Glen Denny Cable Master System, ISO transformers, air conditioning through hulls. Really impressive. It's a real joy to get to film and hang out on a boat like this. Okay, this is going to wrap up our tour of this 2004 59 Marquis. Again, I'm Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. If you'd like more information about this vessel, or just help with vessels in the Southern California area in general, please feel free to call me at 619-800-3491 or you can email me at bigboatben at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water.